To create our T4s in Payment Evolution, from our home page, we go to Actions and then Year End and click. We can review our information right here on our home screen and we can export that to Excel or PDF as needed. And when we're ready to create our T4s, we simply click on the Create View T4 tab. The program is now ready to generate your T4s. It'll pull from your employee's year to date when we click the Generate button. Your T4s have now been generated and we click OK. We can review any of our employees by clicking the Previous or Next buttons to go through. And we can also select from our list of employees here. I recommend that you review each employee to make sure that their information is correct before moving on to step three. If you need to make any changes, you can make the changes right here within the T4 itself. You can also go to Employees and click Edit and make the changes on the financial year to date. If you make the, ch the changes in the Employee section, please click the button to regenerate the T4s to pull in the new information. Please make any notes of any data that you have changed as this will not reflect in your reports. And so if there's any questions down the road, you'll have your notes to refer back to. Once you've re reviewed and validated all of your employees, you can go ahead and create your company summary by clicking the Create button on step number three. You're going to enter the proprietor's social insurance number. If you're not required to enter this number, you can leave it as all zeros. The program is going to ask for your total remitted year to date. This is the amount that you have remitted to CRA and it is available to verify on your report called a PD7A. This report is available from CRA. If you have access to my business account, you can log in and get the information right there on screen. Otherwise, you can call CRA and ask for the information on your PD7A. Even if Payment Evolution has been remitting for you throughout the year, we do recommend that you get this number from CRA as this is your opportunity to check that the amount that they have received is the amount that we report within the program. Once you have this number, you can enter it here. I'm going to enter a different number than what CRA says, than what the program says I am expecting. And I'm showing that I now have a refund once I hit the tab key. If I put in the exact number and hit the tab key, it will zero out and show me that I owe nothing. I'm going to check the checkbox that says I'm sending payment even though I don't owe anything and I'm going to click Save. Your T4 slips and summary are now ready to submit and I'm going to click OK. You have the option in Step 4 to download your reports either via PDF or XML. The PDF is available if you're going to be submitting to the government or to your employees via paper and you can select which ones you want to generate for submission to the government or for your employees. If you download the XML file this is available for you to upload on the CRA website when you go to uh, my business account and you can upload electronically rather than mailing in a paper format. Once you have completed all these steps, you can go ahead and publish the T4 slips for your employees. Once you click Publish, you'll get notification that the employees are going to um, get an email within Paychecker letting them know that their T4 slips are now available for download and viewing. When you're ready, you click Yes.
that's it. Your T4 slips are, are published. If you do need to make an adjustment, we can amend them, and we'll do that in another video. So to create a T4A, we go to the Create View T4A tab. T4As are available for any of your employees that are contractors and are not subject to income tax. To generate our T4A slips, we do it the same as generating our T4 slips, and we click the Generate button. The program is going to pull in the information for any employees who are set as contractors. We receive notice that our T4As are generated, and we click OK. We're going to review and validate our T4A slips by looking at our employees. We can click Next to scroll through them, or we can use the drop-down here. Once we've reviewed and validated that everyone looks okay, we can create our T4A company summary. If we needed to make any manual adjustments, we could do that here or in the employee profile on the employee year to date tab. If we modify the employee year to date, please click the button to regenerate. If you needed to add a manual T4A, you could do that by clicking the Add button right here, and a blank one would come up. Once you have them all created, you can click the button to create your T4A company summary. You're going to enter the proprietor's SIN and the total remitted year to date if there's any deductions to be remitted. We're going to check the checkbox that says, Are you sending payment with the T4A? and click Save. Your T4A slips are now ready to submit, and we click OK. We can download our reports via PDF if we're going to submit to the government via paper or give to our employees, or we can also download the XML file if we'd like to submit electronically to CRA. Once we've downloaded our reports, we can go ahead and click Publish. This will send notification to the employees that their T4A slips are now ready to view and download on their Paychecker site. And that's it. T4As are really easy to create within Payment Evolution.